Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As it's the half term holidays, I haven't done any work or revision, and I have a bit of homework and stuff that I need to do, so I thought, why not just get everything done on one day? And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing for six hours. I'm not going to be revising for six hours straight, instead, I'm doing three hours in the morning, starting from 12 o'clock, and then an hour or two break, then after another three hours. So the first thing I do is write down a plan on what I'm going to be doing. Six hours means six separate chunks of revision being split into 50 minutes of work and then 10 minutes break. After that, I have breakfast and everything. Then at 12, I start doing my Memrise, Remno and Seneca. Memrise, as I've said before, is really good for vocabulary. I use it to perfect my French vocab. And then I do Remno, which I spend the majority of my time on as it's quite time consuming getting my daily goal of flashcards done, which is currently at only 50 cards each day. I've also found that white noise is great for when you want to concentrate and want to drown out all the noise while still being able to do work. And then I move on to Seneca which I just recap organic chemistry on because I've started it very recently and it's a great way to consolidate that information. At the end of every chapter there are exam questions which were really useful in making sure that I had learned everything and then finally time was coming to an end. Well actually I had like 5 minutes left but I did the work. I finished early which is perfectly fine as long as you achieve everything you want to do in that time. That's task 1 complete so I then have a break and then come back to my desk for task 2 which is making my manufacture plan for my DT portfolio. Possibly the most boring thing to ever do with my time. The manufacturer plan is just an outline of when you're going to do certain processes to then achieve your product at the end. We started making this term so I also needed to add the photos of making to my photo diary but I didn't have enough time to get both done in 50 minutes so I decided to finish the making diary in my sixth time block where I'll be doing anything else that has been left unfinished rather than eating in to my break. By the end, as you can see, I've made quite a nice looking table which I'm quite proud of. It was really boring but I'm happy it's over now. Then I finish off what I started off yesterday, a quotations list for Inspector Calls where I just write down my go-to quotations for each theme that could be asked for me from the exam. This was actually quite straightforward and didn't take that long because I had done quite a bit of it already. The reason I wanted to make this was that firstly whenever I'd have a test on Inspector Calls I'd keep remaking them so I might as well just have something to keep with me that I can use every time. Secondly, I've always wanted to make myself small little booklets, especially when I watched this video ages ago, um, the link is in the description, and it made me really want to make a cool looking booklet for each subject, but then I came across Remno which made that useless for me, and so I saved a lot of time, but I'm still slightly sad. That's why I wanted to make this, and I'll probably make a few more for like Macbeth and stuff, and maybe one on just case studies for geography. Anyways, I've just completed the quotations list and if you want to, it's in the description. So yeah, check it out and see if it's useful for you. After that, I go outside and I just have a walk because I'm too lazy and should actually do something else with my life. Walking for the sake of simply walking is actually really relaxing. Can we just appreciate the storm that's going on outside, it's actually insane. I also eat with my friend and I scrapped the idea of revising at home for a bit and I do my next chunk of revision in the library with him, where instead of doing further maths I just do normal maths because why not. I gave this man 10 minutes extra and he's still cheating. What a cheat. Wait, no, this is no, no. maths by the way. Yeah, um, no, like the marks scheme says that, you need to give me the marks. Uh, but no, you've only no, mentioned no. three points. No, yes, no, you've I mentioned this three points. as well. Uh, I was why, why are you adding stuff? Time's over. <laughs> Then I come back home, it's slightly darker but I just get on with some French listening. And for this I listen to a Duolingo podcast. I've been starting to listen to them again because they've been releasing new ones each week and they're great for French listening and help with vocab too. When I started I couldn't understand anything due to how fast they spoke and now I kind of understand most of it and I get what's going on now.
quand je suis devenue maman, beaucoup de choses ont changé. Je voulais vraiment trouver ma vocation. J'étais douée en langue, alors j'ai étudié l'anglais, l'italien et le grec. Je pensais devenir professeur de langue. Yeah, and after that, I just get on with some homework from French. I have this writing exam that I prepare for, and I also set up the Quizlet in order to revise for a vocab test that I have after half time as well. So I just finished making the Quizlet and everything, and now I have my DT coursework to do, and I don't think I have anything else to finish off for my sixth section. And um, yeah, this has gotten really tiring. Uh, I might just just do a bit of it today and then finish it off another day because uh, I'm just not bothered anymore. I've lost my motivation. I'm actually quite surprised I managed to get this far, but yeah. So um, I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Let's see how it goes. And after that, I'm done. If you haven't tried listening to Duolingo podcasts, go ahead and try them. They're great for languages. And if you want some motivation to revise yourself, try this maths question. Our answer is in the pinned comments, by the way, as well as some practice if you want. But for now, guys, have a great day and I'll see you again next week. Bye.